Thank you for tuning in to the Plain Bible Teaching Podcast. I'm your host, Andy Soker. This episode is being released on April 4th, 2024. And this week, I just wanted to send out a quick update to the podcast listeners or viewers because it has been six weeks since the last episode was released. After releasing that episode, I decided to take a break from recording to kind of think about what was the best way to move forward with the podcast. I sent out a survey and received responses from many of you as far as what to do or what direction you wanted to see this go in the future. So I wanted to post a quick update to let all of you know what is in store for the Plain Bible Teaching Podcast. You can visit the show notes for this episode at plainbibleteaching.com slash podcast slash 040424. That link won't have additional resources or links like I typically have in the show notes, but that's where you'll be able to find the recording of this episode if you want to go back and listen to that for any reason. So it's been six weeks since the last episode, so you might be wondering, why did we have the break like that. Well, first reason is I felt like I needed a break from recording. I didn't want to allow myself to get burned out on the podcast and just give up on it altogether. So I thought it was time to take a break from it and come back to it later. But the second reason was that I felt like I needed to rethink how I was doing the podcast because this was taking up a significant amount of time every week. And part of that is to be expected with making an audio podcast and then also a video version of the podcast, which I enjoy doing and I'm happy to do that, but it was taking a lot of time. But aside from just recording and editing and uploading and doing all that, I felt like I was spending too much time preparing to record the podcast from brainstorming topics and reading articles and outlining episodes and writing notes and doing all that sort of thing. And part of the issue had to do with the theme of the podcast, where we talked about current events, social issues, religious trends, and noteworthy news from a biblical perspective. Now, that's important to talk about, and I enjoy talking about those types of things. The problem, though, was that I started to feel like I needed to scour the internet for articles that would make for good topics that I could use for an episode and spent a lot of time doing that. Of course, there were some episodes that weren't based on a news article, but those were the exception. So I started thinking that maybe I should broaden the focus of the podcast a little bit. I don't want to completely move away from current events and those types of things, but I also wanted to cover more practical matters that wouldn't necessarily be covered in some news article that I found somewhere. How to live as a Christian. How to do the work of preaching the gospel in today's world. How to make use of technology and carry out the Lord's work in practical matters like that. And based upon the survey results that I received from all of you who submitted those surveys, that's what you want to do. Practical matters, how to apply biblical teaching but with some current events also mixed in. So that's what we're going to be doing moving forward with the podcast. It won't be limited to current events. It will include that, but it will be broader than that and more practical in the subject matter and what we're talking about. So I haven't settled on a new tagline for what the podcast is going to have, but it's going to be something along the lines of applying timeless truth to modern life or practical applications of biblical teaching in the circumstances we face today. I know it will not be that second one because that is way too wordy, but it will be something along those lines. And if you have a suggestion, I'm certainly open to those suggestions as far as a tagline for the podcast and what we're going to cover. You can send that to me at andy at plainbibleteaching.com. The old theme, though, fit that But the main difference is that I'm not going to feel like I need to find a news article to talk about every single week. Occasionally I'll do that, but not every week. I'm not going to go out of my way to hunt down an article to talk about. And I was doing a lot of that before. 
I was spending too much time each week reading articles and trying to find one that I thought would be good for us to discuss. So what I'm going to try to do here is simplify the process and hopefully make it a little bit easier to put these episodes together. Now some other matters, and these were ones that were also I asked about in that survey that many of you responded to. I am still going to produce an audio and a video version of the podcast. The majority of those who answered said they preferred the video. So that's definitely going to be staying. It is a little bit more work, but I don't mind doing that work. I kind of enjoy doing this. I'm not a great video editor, but it's something that I enjoy doing. But the video version is going to stay and the audio is going to be there no matter what. I'm one of these people that if I listen to a podcast, I listen to the podcast. I don't follow it on YouTube, but that's just my preference. I know a lot of you, the majority of you who answered, you watch this on YouTube and not on some podcast player, and that's perfectly fine. Both of those are going to be staying. And I'm still planning to release an episode once a week. The regular episodes will be returning soon. I don't have a date yet, possibly later this month. But the regular episodes will be returning soon on a weekly schedule. Now, I did take an unplanned break from the podcast for several weeks this time. I may, in order to prevent that from happening again, take more regular, shorter breaks from time to time. I haven't thought that through yet, but that is a possibility. But generally speaking, the episodes will be coming out. The plan is for them to be coming out once a week. And I'm still going to be doing a mix of solo episodes where it's just me here talking to you and episodes that have a guest with me on the podcast. The overwhelming majority of you who responded preferred a mix like this. And so that's going to continue. I enjoy having guests on here and I also enjoy just getting on here and be able to talk one-on-one with all of you who are listening. As far as with guests, though, the biggest challenge of having guests on the podcast, the reason why I would shy away from doing that for every episode is because of the problem of scheduling, not other people's schedule, but my schedule. I would be the problem with that. When I record here, when I record these episodes, I am not in a private office or private recording studio. I am in a room in our house that is also the school room. We homeschool our kids. It's also the music room and the art room and the toy room. And it has a door that doorway that does not have a door that closes that goes into the kitchen and the laundry room. So I have to work around everyone else in this house, which means I usually have to record at night after everyone's in bed which does make it more difficult to schedule with someone else to record an episode with them. However, Christopher Gardana, who has been a regular guest here on the podcast, has already been asking about recording again. So I will definitely be having him helping me with this moving forward. And I greatly appreciate you, Christopher, for your encouragement and your help. And I'm looking forward to having you on here again. But just to wrap all this up, the podcast is returning soon, and we are slightly tweaking the theme. It's going to include current events like before, but it won't be limited to that. And I appreciate each and every one of you who regularly listen and watch. Thank you for following the show, and I hope that this continues to be helpful to you. So that's all for this week. Thank you for listening to the Plain Bible Teaching Podcast. If you need to check out the show notes for this episode to find the recording of this, it is at plainbibleteaching.com slash podcast slash 040424. If you have an idea for a topic or a news story or something like that for a future episode, send that to me at andy at plainbibleteaching.com. Also, as I mentioned, if you have an idea for a tagline for the podcast, Send that to me before we decide on a new one, and I'm open to suggestions on that. You can send that to the same email address, andy at plainbibleteaching.com. Thanks again for listening, and I hope to talk to you again very soon.